Coming up on this episode of the Pumpkin Patch Show, Sony release a brand new collection of demos for the PSVR, Intruders Hide and Seek announced for PSVR, PC VR games that may come to PSVR that I'm interested in, and finally I'll be opening up fan mail in our first ever viewer mail segment that I'll be doing today, so stay tuned for that. Hey there lads and ladies and welcome to episode number 5 of the Pumpkin Patch Show officially voted the number one PSVR YouTube show by Petrifying Pumpkins. I'm your host Petrifying Pumpkins and as always I am joined by a very special guest. Now this week's special guest is actually me in the future. So let me just say hello to myself from the future. How's it going? How are you doing? A few months ago, I was diagnosed with a serious illness that has left me pretty much bedridden. Well, at least he's very handsome. I think we can all agree on that. Try it before you buy it. So Sony have done it again. They have released another collection of demos for PSVR on the PlayStation Store. This one is currently up on the EU Store. Not too sure about the other stores yet. Who cares about us? You're not EU. I don't care. Find it, find it out yourself. Do it yourself, I can't do everything for you, I can't hold your hand. But it's out in the EU store anyway, and it comes with 9 titles, and they are as follows. Astrobot, Super Hoss, Headmaster, The Kitchen Demo, Job Simulator, Moss, The Persistence, Thumper, and Battle Zone. Now if you've had your PS Viewer for a year or two, then there's a good chance you've already played, or at least, you know, seen these in the past, so maybe then it might not appeal very much to you. But if you're someone who's just gotten your headsets and you want to see what's out there, I think this is a pretty good selection of games. There's a fairly good variety of games there too. I mean, you've got the Game of the Year winner there with Astro Boss and you have the classic Super Hoss as well, you know. But what do you think about this collection of games? Would you have added a different game? Maybe removed one of these games? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Me from the future, what do you think? Do you think those are a good selection of games or what? And it's written in blood. It's written in blood as well. I don't want to show it to you. It's disturbing. Honestly, I just couldn't hear a word you were saying because I was lost in your eyes. It's practically Home Alone VR, lads. Hey, do you like it when little kids are in danger of being hurt by strangers? Well then, I've got a game for you. This one is called Intruders Hide and Seek. Now this one is your 13 year old boy. Your house is being invaded in the middle of the night by these strangers. There's a big muscly dude. There's like a guy going around with a deer skull and a helmet. And going by the title, I think it's safe to say that uh, you will be doing a lot of hiding in this game. You probably won't be equipped with any weapons. It pr- might be like Outlast, maybe. Something like that, except in VR. Now this game is going to be releasing on PlayStation Flat and P- PS VR. That's going to be out on the 13th of February. This game is being developed by Tesseret Studios and being published by Daedalic Games. So just keep an eye out on that one, it does look pretty interesting. And it could be a bit of a sleeper hit for 2019 on PSVR. Please come to PSVR. Now next up I want to talk about a couple of games that are on PC VR, or at least they're going to be on PC VR and that may also come to PS VR, at least I'm hoping so. So these games aren't exactly news, they've been out for a while or been known about for a while, but you may not have heard of them if you're not focusing on PC stuff. So seeing as they may be coming to PS VR, I thought it might be a good idea to cover them and, you know, inform you of these games because they look pretty sick. So the two games are Shadow Legend and Blade and Sorcery. So Shadow Legend, we'll start with that one. This one is going to be coming out on PC Viewer in February, which is not too long away. And uh, and this one's kind of like Skyrim, but imagine if Skyrim was built from the ground up with Viewer in mind. So you've got like a lot of objects in the game that were designed to be interacted with with two motion controllers, you know, so you can pick up stuff, you can fry a steak in a pan, you flip it, you know, that kind of thing. You can pick up the carrot and feed it to your horse. You can like hammer your sword to fix it. It's like all bent out of shape. You fix it back into place. All that kind of goodness. Very interactable, that kind of a way. And it's got like a very Skyrim medieval type of vibe to it. Looks very cool. Now developers have said that they are aiming for a PS VR release sometime in May. So it looks quite good that the chances of that one are coming to PS VR. Unless something awful happens and maybe it gets scrapped or whatever. 
but keep an eye on that one for sure. And so the next one then is called Blade and Sorcery. Now this one, not really as expansive as Dark Shadow because it seems to just focus on melee combat in Dior as well as melee sorcery kind of thing. So this one is similar to the other one. It's also in medieval times, but it looks so good. What you're capable of doing, the combat system is unlike anything I've seen before. It's really something that can only be done in Dior. You can grab an arrow out of midair and use it to stab someone who's in front of you and then you grab their head smash it into a table or a desk or against the wall and then you pull out a sword stick it into them and the sword will stay in there and the wounds will look pretty realistic and you can do just a bunch, a bunch of crazy cool looking shit look i'm gonna have the trailer here somewhere here but you should look up the full thing because let me tell you the trailer for this game absolutely stimulated the hell out of my moisture producing glands i was wicked west watching that trailer now whether this game will actually come to PSVR is a little bit more up in the air compared to Shadow Legend. The game is actually out right now on PC VR in the form of early access so if you want to see a lot of footage you should definitely go look up some YouTubers who are covering that on the PC end of things. Now the developers have said though that they want to bring it to PSVR but they're looking into it. Now who knows what that means. It means it could come, it might not come. If it does come, it could be gimped to hell. Like that's the same thing as actually uh, Shadow Legend, because Shadow Legend has shown off all the PC VR side of things. We don't know what the PS VR version is going to look like. Almost certainly there'll be you know sacrifices made to the game to get it running on PS VR. So likely the same thing would happen for uh, Blade and Sorcery. But keep your fingers crossed and your eyes peeled like a potato for any sign of this one coming to PS VR. Uh, future me, what do you think? You looking forward to these games? Look, that's it. That's it. We're done. Just end the video. Okay then. It's a slow news day, lads. Alright, so the PS VR news has been fairly dry. You know, it's January. It's the middle of January. There's not much news going on. So I desperately need to pad this video out with something. So I decided I would do, you know, reading fan mail, kind of like the stuff you guys have been sending me and putting this in this video it might kill a bit of time. Might let me put a few more ads in the video and monetize that shit if you know what I'm saying. So first of all, I have got some artwork to show from Germ Vorf's daughter. Now she has drawn me a pretty pumpkin and a angry pumpkin. And I think we can all agree that the resemblance is uncanny and she has a real talent so a very bright future in the field of art you know so good job nice one support so next up i have a letter that came in the post here now that's very strange because i never gave anyone my address so this one has actually been very frightening a very frightening experience for me i've had to contact the local law authorities enforcement we call them the garda over here but just in case, because you know, it's a very scary thing and it's written in blood. It's written in blood as well. I don't want to show it to you, it's disturbing. But I uh, will read it out, you know. Dear Pumpkin, when you are playing Firewall again, send me an invite. Yours always and forever, David Segerson, aka Tasuki. Horrifying stuff, Tasuki. Let me breathe, please. You're suffocating me. Moving on, I have got another email from uh, another fan over here, so let me give this a quick read. Hey Pumpkin, I have been watching your videos for a while and I think you're doing a great job. Thank you very much. I've been doing my own YouTube channel for a while and I also focus on PSVR. Hey, I got a bit of competition here it sounds like. I have over 4,000 subscribers but I bought most of those from a Russian boss website. So I guess you could say I'm a massive fraud. Could you please give me some tips on how to make content that will appeal to people so that I can get real subscribers like you have. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I'd like to remain anonymous so that I don't expose myself. Well, first of all, thank you very much, Dave Station Viewer, for writing in. I very much appreciate that you're watching my videos and that you're sending in mail like this for me. I'm very happy to help out. To answer your question though, Dave, you just gotta make content that you, you yourself are happy with, that you have a passion for it because if you're making something that you're happy with it'll show through in your content and eventually you will attract like-minded people they'll subscribe and bada boom bada bing you know backwards 
uh, you will have real subscribers that you can call your own and you can stop buying them from Russian websites, okay? Thank you, Dave. Let's do one last one before we wrap up. Dear Pumpkin, I've been watching your firewall streams and I noticed that you've been using the grenade launcher like a little bitch. No, okay. Let's not end with that one, let's go for another one. Hey Pumpkin, just wondering, why do you hide your lack of skill behind the grenade launcher? Look, lads, I'm not doing any more stuff. Stop asking me about the grenade launcher. Okay, let's just leave that alone. It's in the past. If there's something wrong with the first contact entertainment, you're going to fix it, okay? So just as... I'm going to look for something that doesn't have anything to do with the grenade launcher, and I'm going to read that out, and we're going to end the video there, okay? Okay, this one looks good. <clears throat> hey Pumpkin, my name is Josh, and I'm from California. A few months ago, I was diagnosed with a serious illness that has left me pretty much bedridden. I'm very sorry to hear that, Josh. I hope you get well soon, if you can. So uh, I've had more time to watch YouTube. I've always been interested in VR and even more so now that I can't go outside. So when I found your channel and watched your videos, I decided to get a PSVR because it would be the closest thing to being outside as I could guess. That's very cool, Josh. I'm flattered. I'm delighted. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I just wonder why you have to be such a little pussy using that grenade launcher. Look, that's it. That's it. We're done. Just end the video. Okay. So that's the end of this video, lads and ladies. But before I put an end to us, I just want to give a thanks to my Patreon supporters. They'll be on the screen in front of you now. So thank you very much to those guys. I appreciate it very much. That's it for this video, lads and ladies. If you like this video and if you want to help me out, then I would appreciate it if you would do all the usual shite. Bye for now and I will see you in the next one.